Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a review on a product that I purchased to go with my LG Pocket Photo that I did a review or kind of, you know, showed you a little bit on it in a previous video. Um, let me just show you this here. Let me get it out of here. This here is what my little pocket photo looks like. I still have the sticker up here. I like it. It's very portable and stuff and just, you know, it's small. It can go in a purse or a tote or whatever. Sorry that the lighting keeps going back and forth. It's because this is white and it's like making the lighting weird. But it's Bluetooth. I like that. Um, that it can just connect to my phone, you know, via Bluetooth, and I, I really like that. Um, but when I ordered it, I needed some paper, and I got some LG paper with it, and um, I was really happy with the LG paper, and then I seen on the internet, via YouTube, I think, that you could use the Polaroid um, film or uh, paper to go in it as well. And it was actually like way cheaper. It was like twenty dollars for a hundred, you know, papers or pictures. So I was really happy with that. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this. So I did. And uh, I recently stopped. You know, I'd emptied out a pack of my LG. This is my LG wrapper right here. And I had used all that, so I decided that it was time to open up a Polaroid one. Which this right here is the Polaroid Pogo film. And this is supposed to go into the LG pocket photo as well. You're supposed to be able to use it for that. And at first, you know, I, I kind of didn't really have a problem. I didn't notice too much, but yeah, I'm not really liking this like film this paper I'm saying film but I mean paper I don't like it at all it, if you are going to get you an LG pocket photo printer which they have a new one out now it's the PD251 I think is what it's called and you have to order it from like overseas it'd be coming from like Korea or something but if you have if you want to order one of these I mean you don't really have to get a brand new one. This one here is the older version, and I really, really like it. It does the job well. But when you order one, don't buy the Polaroid papers because they're not good at all. And I do have some examples to show you. For one that I noticed, this here is the Polaroid paper. It's shiny on this side, which so is the LG paper. But on the back, it is not blue or slick. It's kind of got this rough kind of backing to it. it feels like papery, you know, which it's paper. But And this here is also a sticker, by the way. You can peel the front of it off. But the LG, which I've got this in here because I'm using this LG pack because I stopped using my Polaroid. But this here, the... You don't want to touch this too much, but this here is the back of the LG. It has like a bluish tint to it, and it's kind of shiny looking. And the front is also kind of shiny, matte looking, but not as shiny as the back. And uh, so I noticed that too, that the paper quality was different. So, but that didn't phase me. That didn't phase me at all until I started printing out pictures from my phone. Um, this is a picture. I hope you can tell the difference with this camera and the video of the picture quality. If not, I'm really sorry and there's probably not no point in doing this video if you can't even see the difference. But this is the Polaroid. I'll do this. This is the Polaroid picture taken with, um, I took this with my iPhone 6 using a macro lens attached to the phone. It's a couple bugs crawling on my flower. And uh, that is the Polaroid. 
and this here is the LG. Now I'm going to put them side by side here so you can see the difference there and you can definitely see a difference. The Polaroid, which is this one right here, is way more, it's not as bright, it's not as, I don't know, it's yellowish looking or something, I don't know, and the, this, well, this one right here is the LG paper, so you can definitely see the white, it's really white, and a lot more just clear and pretty color. So that is that one. And then I took one of, uh, well, just to show you again the good part of the LG. Um, I printed out a picture of my uh, new favorite pirate captain, which is Captain Charles Vane, off of Black Sails. This is with the LG paper. The photo that I printed wasn't really that clear anyways, but it looks pretty good to me. So I'm really happy with that one too. Okay, another one that I did is I printed this out. This here is one of my best friends that passed away years ago, and um, I found a couple pictures of her that her dad had posted on Facebook, and I wanted to print them out. I saved them to my phone, and I wanted to print them out on my little printer and put them in a journal. This here is her. This here is her grave, and I just... I hate the way that the picture turned out. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't believe that this, that it looked this bad on this paper. This here border has dots around it and you can barely even see the border. It doesn't look right at all. I mean, it just, it don't look right at all. It doesn't look good. So then I put the LG paper back in and I printed another one of her. Now, this one right here is the Polaroid. This one right here is the LG paper. So, yeah, you can see a big difference in there. I mean, her face in this picture here is kind of pale anyways because she was kind of, she was fair complected and stuff, but in the LG one, you can actually kind of see her, you know, the rosy cheeks and stuff, and the color on the border just looks really good, and uh, it just looks a lot better, and I'm so much happier with this one. I'm going to be putting this one in my journal, but this one here, I was so mad at how this turned out. So, and... To sum it all up, if you're wanting to get an LG pocket photo printer, do not go for any type of bundles on eBay that sell the Polaroid pictures for like $22 for $100 because now I have all these and yeah, I'm not going to be using them <laughs> at all. I mean, they're doing me no good. My pictures are looking horrible. So now I'm going to have to spend another $30 to buy me, like, some more LG film because I'm going to be running out of this, you know, soon. Not real, real soon, but eventually I'm going to be running out of it. So now I'm going to have to buy some more LG paper because of the Polaroid paper just not looking good at all. And... If this is the paper that goes with the Polaroid printers, pocket printers or whatever, I really hate to see how they look like. I mean, if you've got a Polaroid pocket printer, I would not be buying this. I would try the LG if it works in it. But this here, it, is, it just did not work.
for me at all. And I don't know if there's an expiration date or if they expire, but it just, it was such a waste. Such a waste. I don't like this, so don't get it. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. But anyways, I had to get on here and rant about that. But I do love my LG Pocket Photo Printer. I love that. And it is the oldest version, I think. Well, I don't think the oldest version, but it's one of the older ones. And I love it. It's awesome. Thumbs up for it. And the paper. <laughs> but, yeah. Polaroid paper, not good. Don't buy it. But anyways... Thanks for watching. Um, giveaway uh, winner will be announced soon. Um, hopefully today after I put all this video and the, another video up, I will be announcing the giveaway winner. I will be closing the giveaway today. So thanks for everyone that entered and subscribed to me and stuff. And I will be posting another giveaway for this month. Yeah, it will be the April giveaway, and uh, I will be announcing that winner in May, so it would be like May the 4th, so just stay tuned and wait and see. Thanks for watching.